Hi there, my name is Frank. I am with Motorsportsland here in Salt Lake City, 4001 South State. Here to show you another great little trailer made by Winnebago Towables, Micro Mini 1706 FB. Um, what we have here, I'm gonna start off right off the start. We're gonna go up to the actual colorful stickers out in front of this uh, coach, um, where we do have this uh, heated and enclosed tanks, which are wrapped underbelly, um, insulated package for cold weather. Um, 20, 20, 20 degrees, anything below that, um, you know, you start wanting to talk about any kind of skirting or any kind of additional heating underneath. But um, it does have forced air into the underbelly. Great little build to get up there in Uenos, anywhere in the mountains up here where it does get uh, a little chilly for camping. Um, second is the off-road package, and from there I'll take you right to the tires. Um, the off-road package is the bigger tires and rims, the 16s with the aluminum alloy rims. Um, great, lifts that whole trailer up off. We used to have a single step on these. Now they've moved to a dual step because of that uh, raised elevation in the trailer, because of the axles, tires, and they are torsion suspension, independent torsion suspension instead of a big leaf spring on each one. Um, the other one we talked about, kind of touching base on the heated and closed tanks, is the heated, um, the extreme weather package, which is the wrapped underbelly, blowing that forced air into the underbelly, keep everything wrapped and warm. Um, you do have your vent that goes through the floor, um, joist floor system wrapped, and then you do have your water lines run as close as you can um, to that, so that's the water lines and the tanks are all, like I said, heated and closed. Really nice feature. Um, coming out to the outside, as we're in the front here, beautiful LED lights. Now when this is rolled in, the lights still work. You still have access to the lighting and your camp spot, so you don't have to roll out um, and have the lights at the end of the barrel on these awnings. So, uh, you know, at nighttime, you really don't want to have your awning, unless it's a little bit of rain, out, just in case you forget, go in, get some wind throughout the night, start flapping your, um, your awning around. So the lights are accessible uh, throughout the evening as well. Um, this is a nice little feature to have is this awning. Uh, not a lot of them have them. Uh, Winnebago has these little cams. And I'm just gonna show you a little demonstration. As that wind starts pushing on this, that cam pushes it back out to be tight. So as the wind's blowing and fluttering this, you don't have to have somebody hanging on the end while you roll this in. It is an electric awning. And what that helps you with is tensioned up and roll it up while that wind is blowing. Great little uh, feature for it. Also, when this awning is fully extended, you do have a little adjustment right here where you can actually bring this in and out to tilt your awning one way or the other to have that water displace over to one corner instead of having all that water running right off the edge and out in front of your camping spot on your mat. <clears throat> Falling towards the back, we do have roof access. These come with a fully walkable roof, 10-year warranty on this TPO roof. Bar none, as far as out in the industry, something you want to maintain and take care of is a top of your roof, not allowing any water into the side walls or anywhere else through your vents. Um, nice to have that 12 year warranty on this as well. So Winnebago does back up their product and we love that. Uh, full size spare. So you're not asking for a little uh, donut to get you from point A to point B. You're up in the mountains and you need to get through three or four hours of terrain or any kind of way home. You do have a full size spare so your trailer is not tilted to one side as you're towing down the road, you know, causing any kind of sway. Um, is wired for a Voyager backup camera. So that little plate back there, what you want for a camera is a two conductor powered wire that is powered from your vehicle through to your uh, seven way plug out to the back. Come, uh, you can get a screen that goes up in front and your backup camera. Uh, a couple different options here. We do sell them at Motor Sports Line here in our parts store. Please ask about that if you're interested. We do have great deals and we do the installs on them. As you can see on that roof, as we talk about the roof, how it's kind of tapered like that. Well, the one thing you don't want to have happen is have a flat roof trailer where you have snow compiled on top. Now, granted, the roofs might be uh, good and warranted, but what you want is that water to melt off and displace off of the roof. Now, if you do have this snow up on top, what happens is it melts down at night, it freezes. More snow melts down, freezes. Next thing you know, you got a big block of ice up on top of a flat roof. All that's doing is putting weight and pressure and compressing your roof up on top to actually cave it in. This actually displaces all that and the trusses on top, um, everything on this being a fully walkable roof is just a very stout build. Um, test that out when you come in to see us. You can get up there on the ladder and we'll walk you through it. 
Coming around the side, I do love when they talk about the all-terrain, you know, tire package, uh, mountain package where it's raised up. You do have your clean out, which is your gray and black water clean out out the back above the axles. So you do see how it's built is you can see that clearly how high that sits up off the ground for your clearance so as you're taking off and coming in through a dip and if we've all been there if you haven't been there i'll explain it when you come through and walk through with these trailers that you're not having this scrape up the bottom plenty of clearance plenty of clearance for your for your drain pipe talk about clearance we don't have the hanging scissor jacks on these we do have the tuck away single arm jack so when these come up they actually taper all the way up and come up tight to the uh, to the actual frame of the trailer not hindering any kind of dips you're going through with your trailer. Coming through on these as we uh, show the tires on the other side, these do have and are equipped with Easy Lube hubs. So you take off the little black cap that says Winnebago right there. Underneath that, you're gonna have a little grease cert. That grease cert, you give it about two or three pumps with a grease gun, it packs in that back bearing, then it packs it up, fills it, and comes forward with these tubes into the front bearing of that with the grease, and greases both bearings. Now, if you didn't know they have both bearings, they do, and they are difficult to pack. So having this in preventive maintenance, huge issue um, for non-maintenance factor to get you camping, not having to work on your trailer at home. Coming over to your little station where you have pretty much everything set up here. You're gonna have your 30 amp service. It's a screw on. This thing will screw on, tighten up. So if anybody goes by and kicks this off, it's a little protection on that. It's a pretty stiff little build. As you can see your screw ring right there. Um, you do have your fresh water fill, uh, 35, 32 gallon fresh water tank on this, uh, six gallon hot water tank. So do the math there and that's how much you can carry with you in the boondocks. Um, you do have a, a, a hookup for if you're going somewhere and you're camping at a spot where they do have full hookups, this is your freshwater hookup. When you hook up here, you would want to get a regulator. A lot of these parks will have unregulated pressure for water. Uh, makes a difference on that. We don't want to blow out fittings. Think of that. We could talk about that when you come in. You do have park cable. So you have cable TV, satellite system. This will actually go into your coach, into your, uh, your TV locations. Very simple process, just like your house. They come up, screw this on, screw it onto your spigot, go inside, it's already hooked up. Turn your TV on, you have cable TV. Uh, satellite, you'll have to get a little receiver dish and uh, you know how that works. So going over here, hot water tank. This is a six gallon hot water tank with uh, DSI. You're probably talking about realistically three good hot showers in an hour. So as you're at a park cable or you're just boondocking it, this will actually heat up. As that water starts going, it immediately triggers, fires up, heats up that secondary water, that second flow coming in. Um, we'll boil that up quick, and then you can take a shower about 15 minutes after that. Okay, coming into your, uh, your storage, slam latch doors. A lot of people don't know what they are. We'll demonstrate it, slam latch. Very simple, easy, close up, lock up, lockable protect all your goods inside this opens up you do have a magnet hold on your handle this is a magnet here i can't tell you how many times i've gone through those little clips on my trailer where you tell the kids to close it up they pull it snap it's gone nice little simple basic feature but makes it very convenient as you look through here we do have a all your your storage through here huge storage pocket led light in the back over there you open that up, you got plenty of storage for your chairs, fishing poles, uh, paddles, life jackets, anything like that. This is your external solar plug. So you have, uh, this is pre-wired to the batteries. So you plug in here with an external solar panel, goes in, pre-wired to your batteries, face that solar panel to the sun as you go every four hours, five hours, switch it over to get as maximum sun on top of your solar panel. It's gonna go in, go right to your batteries, trickle charge your batteries, great feature to have. Other option, if you do want to have one set up on the on the roof, we get a lot of questions about this. We do that here at Motorsports Land. Uh, 17 bays of service. We fit you in, put you in, set it up for you um, with a digital reader or without a digital reader. There's options out there for you. Great little service. Solar is the wave of the future. We all know. Put them on trailers. Always going to have charged batteries. It's pretty nice. As you go up here, electric tongue jack. So 
makes this pretty easy and simple. Really nice to have your little LED light for night hookup. Shines right down on your ball. Back her up, put her on, and then you do have your up and down feature on this. Uh, great little setup to save your back, save your arm. Um, nice to hook up with an equalizer hitch as well. Uh, walk you through something like that. We have one mocked up here out in front of our parts store. Uh, definitely suggested for safety features. Comes with two, uh, two propane tanks, and we do have a spot for two batteries. Um, don't come from the factory with batteries. We do give you the option for 6 volt, 12 volt, 27 volt. We have them all here available for you. So we can hook those up as we go. Talking about your nice big front end here, diamond plate on the bottom, uh, protect you from stone chips off your tires and such from the road debris. Um, but your nice big flat fiberglass insulated front cap, uh, front end here, uh, really helps out with the uh, aerodynamics of the trailer itself. Um, nice corner beads. I just uh, can't talk enough about this. You do have little rain gutter spouts up on top, which displaces that water away from your trailer. But when you do have water trickling down, and at nighttime what it does, it goes down here and it starts you know, slowing down and freezing up. This is very well sealed, so you're not getting up inside of here. And what happens when water gets inside anything, it expands and makes things even worse. Well, the nice seal corner on these uh, makes it magnificent to take care of, low maintenance. And that's what we're all looking for, um, just to get out there and not have to maintain your, your rig as you're, as you're camping. Um, outside here, we do have another spot for your cable TV or satellite output here. You do have your backer location for a television. If you want to set up a little small TV out here, they do have a backer location. You set that up, hook your TV up on there, and two 110 outlets. So you set up one for a blender, one for your TV. You're out here having a party. Outside speakers, they are weatherproof external speakers. And a nice thing about these, a lot of people ask us why they're not flush mounted. Well, if you think about this, a flush mounted makes a hole in the side of your uh, trailer about yay big. And you flush mount that speaker inside. With these, they mount on the outside, water sealed, everything. There's a, just a small hole for the wires to come through. So less obtrusion into your sidewall, which is uh, what we don't want to do here. So that's why they put the speakers like they did on that. Um, just below the 110 power, we do have a uh, propane quick connect. Now you can throw a splitter on that and then you can run that to a barbecue and a camp chef or a, a big lantern or any kind of device that you want set up there through propane. Um, nice to have that two-way and even a three-way splitter. Those parts readily available here in our parts store. We'll go inside and uh, check the inside out, guys. Entry assist handle as we go in here. A nice fold away handle. Folds up and closes your door up, but nice firm handle to get in. Okay, as we're looking up here, right above my head, and you can see I'm about six foot tall. We got a few inches ahead of us, but uh, on, on, above me, uh, your 13.5 BTU air conditioning system. This will um, control through your controls up here or your thermostat, and very overbuilt for the size of this trailer. Uh, if you're worried about going down to Arizona and keeping chilled, this is definitely your unit right here. Well insulated too. Block foam insulation, aluminum cage construction all the way around. Do have your queen size bed in the back. Um, your drawers up underneath here for storage, storage overhead, you pull down blinds. We do have, you see in the far corner, two 110 outlets, and we also do have USB ports back there for charging. Little dinette setup, drops down to a bed if you ever have a guest that sleeps over, or you have a good sized dog that needs a, a little dog bed, this is a good little setup. We do have a six cubic foot refrigerator and separate freezer. Need I say more, this trailer this size, good size fridge, actually stand up fridge too, you're not crawling up underneath the cabinets. Everything accessible to you. And we do have a microwave. It is not a convection microwave oven, however, but it is just regular microwave oven, a rotating a, a table on the, on, in the inside. Um, you got a three burner stove. This just folds, tucks away to the behind here. Set up your stove and a separate little oven too. So it's a nice little feature to have in there and you're doing some taquitos, corn dogs, or anything along that size. Uh, we do have the above mounted stainless steel. Um, the way I mentioned the stainless steel, I love how Winnebago does this, is that the plastic, um, you know, sinks, you, you start getting abrasive with any kind of cleaning structure with these. You do leave grooves in there, which leaves room for bacteria. I like how they go with the stainless steel sinks on this. Um, nice little kitchen uh, window here. Anybody knows about this, they want to ever change blinds out, I would say leave these metal blinds. It is a safety feature for any kind of kitchen setup. If you didn't know that, a lot of trailers will have that set up just for that. 
Um, they can't have the material in here in case any kind of catch fire. Storage up over top of the sink. Storage underneath the bottom. I mean, you look at the storage in here for the size of this trailer. You do have a sink cover that comes with this. Um, and you have an additional sink cover for the other side. And, you know, good storage for, uh, for you know, your camping trips. Overhead storage over the dinette itself. I mean, there is quite a bit of storage anywhere they can find it. And on the way out, I'll show you the storage up front as well. Looking at the dry bath. Now, when I say dry bath, small little corner shower. We do have the toilet set up in the corner. Um, that makes it for easy to sit down and go potty. Uh, sink in the, in the uh, uh, as well. And just a nice little dry bath. You need to go rinse off and take a shower. Got plenty of room. Once again, small, compact, lightweight trailer, 3,400 pound dry weight. And as we said, looking on the outside, exiting the trailer, talking about storage again nice big huge storage cabinet and you can take out these shelves if need be and do a, a, a coat closet if you wanted to comes with a small uh, 22 inch tv uh, more storage up front here bottom put your shoes anything else you want your control systems up here are very simple you have your awning control you have your light switches inside outside and then of course your your uh, your sensor for your your tanks your battery um, you know check all your levels and everything right there uh, stereo system with a DVD player. So DVD slot right up top here, plays movies through here, rainy day, sit back in bed, watch TV. So guys, LED lights up in here. Uh, we do have a fan uh, or a vent sitting up here. Uh, right over the kitchen is nice. You're getting heat developed in here. You got a quick little access point, but uh, come on down and see us. I'd love to walk through this or any other trailer. Once again, my name is Frank. I'm with Motorsports Night. We'd love to see you and walk a lot.